Good morning. Today is the 27th of July 2014 and uh, I'm on my way up to London to become a water rat. Today is the day they initiate me into the society so I'll uh, just follow me during the day and uh, then I'll explain to you what it is uh, being a water rat and what it means. And so uh, a little bit of a lesson, a bit of fact for you and uh, less comedy. So uh, no change. Shut up. Enjoy. Oops, nearly forgot. I need to go and buy a new suit because um, uh, I'm still doing the tour, thinking inside the box, and the thing is, um, they're all in dry cleaners and they all uh, stink. So I'm off to get a new suit. Uh, that's why I'm going next. Next. I'm going to the next. Well, I'll try there first. And then um, it was next in Eastbourne, don't know if you know, but it's actually a funeral parlour. Thanks, Tucker. A, a brand new suit for a brand new day. Brand new start. Um, yeah, so, got to look good. You have to wear a tie, you have to wear a shirt. Uh, I think that's all you need, really, but I'll wear a suit just in case you do need clothes. I have no idea what's gonna happen, uh, but um, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a very special day. See you later. This way, let's go in this way. <laughs> For the venue now, so uh, newly arrived at the Water Rats pub and lodge, uh, ready for the initiation. London Bridge is on our right, and uh, we keep getting lost, so I just hope we make it in time. Meeting Mr. Roy Hud at 5 pm, we've got 20 minutes, but then uh, it takes two hours to park in London, so we're going to do our best. Nearly there, thanks, Nia, yeah, for guiding us street. and for uh, doing the official the filming. Uh, we just parked uh, nowhere near the lodge, uh, so we're just looking around. We're somewhere, Gray's Inn Road, there it is. And I'm here with Nina, there she is. She's all ready. Oh, looks lovely this evening. You all ready? Yeah. Just got to go and sit in the waiting room while I get initiated, but uh, we made it. Up. And if you just look over here, the Water Rats pub is just down that road. So here I am, water rat. Simon, yes, you're not a water rat. Pardon? Zoom out. Mm. You're not a water rat, you see. I was initiated into the Grand Auto of Water Rats on the 27th of July this year, 2014. But you came forth. I know it's nothing to do with me being on that show. Uh, I was being put forward already by the wonderful Roy Hudd and seconded by Roger the Corsi. The Chilliquist. Yes, and Nookie. Yes, do you like Nookie? Mm. Sunita. That, listen, Nookie Bear, he was his uh, famous character. And so uh, he was on Opportunity Knox and uh, a TV show back then. Yes. Yes. And uh, lots of... No, he wasn't. No, no you're right. Uh, Roger, of course, he was on New Faces. Yes. And a lot of celebrities these days on TV, they actually have new faces. Didn't know you could do that. Um, anyway, so let's explain to you uh, the water rats, okay? What it means to me to be a water rat right now. I'm going to explain. And there's the emblem. It's like the holy grail of show business. One of those things anyway. So you get a box within a box. Inside this box is an emblem. The emblem is the little rat, the baby rat. The emblem which I shall wear. <laughs> Thank you, 
So if you are a water rat, you, uh, you wear the emblem wherever you go. If you don't wear the emblem, you have to get fined five pounds by other members of the water rats. And they do dub you in, but it raises money for the order, which is a, a great thing to do anyway. Uh, so, but you try to wear it most of the time because it is making aware uh, people of the charity, which uh, has been something I'm very, very proud of to be uh, initiated into. But on my initiation day, we had about 49 water rats in the lodge, uh, which was uh, a record really for these days. Uh, not many people can get in, but a lot of people made the effort. So I was very, very pleased with that. And uh, there was four ventriloquists on the day, myself, Roger de Corsi, Alan Simmons, and John Bouchier. There's been a lot of ventriloquists uh, that have become water rats over the years. And the past water rats, uh, we, we've had Arthur Worsley, Albert Savine, and also Neville King. Um, we've got uh, Keith Harris in the order as well now, which is just uh, amazing to be uh, following in those footsteps. We've recently had Roy Wood go in after me this year and Neil Morrissey. So we're getting some great names in the order as well, which is still just continuing. But sadly, uh, people that come, people go as well. We've lost um, a few people, which has been very sad. Uh, and obviously uh, a shock, uh, Alvin Stardust, a brother water rat just a few weeks ago and uh, just uh, also Doug McKenzie. Uh, Doug McKenzie's son, John McKenzie, a wonderful man, a great photographer, was uh, initiated just this week. So um, people come and people go, but it is just to keep this order alive. It's a brilliant thing to be part of. And um, I'm very, very proud. I mean, when you've seen the likes of Lauren Hardy be in that room, um, uh, Charlie Chaplin has been in that room, people like Ken Dodd, Tommy Cooper, Les Dawson, the list is endless. Fred Russell, known as the father of modern ventriloquism, was one of the early water rats, which was, uh, he was very, very, um, uh, you know, crucial to the early days of water ratism, and, uh, which could be a new word, that. Um, and he was uh, one of the first ventriloquists to actually uh, perform with a dummy on the knee. That was, made it more modern. This year, can't wait for the ball, it's going to be one of the biggest balls they've had in a long time and all I can say is that just Rick Wakeman has been a brilliant king rat. Uh, I'm, he's the only one I've ever had because I've only been in there three months. But um, he's a lovely guy, a great entertainer and uh, it's just going to be a brilliant ball. 23rd of November, the Grovner House Hotel in London. I've got my own table for the first time. Being a water rat, I had to bring people um, to, to the show, which, which is going to be a, a great, great night. We've got Roy Wood performing, uh, Kev Orkeying, Brother Water Rats, and hopefully next year I'll get to perform at the show. Uh, so uh, I'm going to have to buy a ticket. So uh, I, I'll just reel off a few names that we've got in here, in the um, order now. We have companion rats as well, which are not necessarily people in show business, but they bring a lot to the order, whether it's financially or just uh, namesake. It's brilliant. We have um, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, is a, a companion rat. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent 
Um, great entertainers, the wonderful Kenny Baker, Lionel Blair, Stan Boardman, Joe Brown, Frank Bruno, Tony Christie, Bernie Clifton, Michael Crawford, CB, Barry, Cro Barry Cryer, OBE, Ken Dodd, OBE, Martin Daniels, PTG, Past Track Guard, and, and there's lots of different titles that you can get as a water rat. I won't explain them right now, but one day there probably will be a documentary on BBC4. Uh, so Bruce Forsyth, CBE, Keith Harris, O-R-V, Orville, and uh, Engelbert Humperdinck, which uh, probably I worked with on the Alan Titchmar show earlier this year, did know he was a brother act, uh, Ian Lavender, Brian May, CBE, Pete Murray, OBE, was in Lodge the other day, Tom O'Connor, Nicholas Parsons, CBE, and uh, Roy Walker, Mike Yarwood, OBE, we've got the wonderful Jess Conrad, OBE, Chas McDevitt, Joe Pasquale, Fraser Hines, Con Klusky, Deck Klusky, just so many names and more and more are coming in. If you're in show business, just um, do what you can for the water rats. Become a friend of the water rats. Uh, get to know us. Start coming to Lodge with uh, water rats that you already know. And let's, let's carry this on for another 125 years because it is 125 years of the Grand Order of Water Rats. Congratulations, brothers and King Rat. <laughs>